Zamora Gaming fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and we have week three Chartridge versus the New Zealand Kings. It is not going to be an easy battle. He brought ex pretty much what I was prepping for, so that's at least a positive in our in our experience of this battle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead Petrie and Lumiere, uh, then put Nessie. Jill Frost, Punk Rock, and Sonic Freeze in the back. So, I doubt he's watching. So, good luck, have fun, Stuart, and let's get this battle underway. Oh, PML Draft League Battle. Kitty Purry and Flux come out first. Very interesting there. Alright, well not the lead I was expecting. I was hoping for a Blastoise Persian lead. You know, something along those lines. But, I'm not going to be mad about it either. Alright, let's go ahead and go for a Earthquake here. Well, it's probably going to... Fake out. So I'm going to go ahead and go to... Does it fake out or does it go for an attack? Earthquake and... Oh, I don't have another flying type to go out to. Alright, so I'm just going to go for the rock slide actually. So rock slide and... Heat wave. So Kitty Perry goes for the fake out. Peachy couldn't flinch. Nuzzle's gonna come off into Peachy as well, which is fine. Not too worried about Peachy being a dominant force offensively. And we get our heat wave off, and that should do a good chunk to Kitty Perry because of the fur coat, if it has it. Not sure if it has it, but it did a good chunk either way. All right, now we can, let's see. All right, we're going for the rock slide here. And we're gonna switch Joe Frost in. So our chandelier is a little slower, mostly for uh, Blastoise shenanigans. All right, so we get hail up. Which is good. Petrie's probably going to go down here. And let's see what uh, Kitty Perry decides to do. Alright, I think he has to switch in first here. So let's go ahead and see what he decides to go to. He goes Leonardo. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. That's the exact play we want to see. Alright, so Leonardo and Flux are out there. Alright, we're pushing it. We're going to go Haze, assuming he's going to try to get that boost. And we're going to go ahead and get Auroravel up. And Flux is going to pair somebody, I'm sure, with Nuzzle. Did this prep pay off? Oh, Leonardo actually goes fake out here. Flux goes Thunderbolt into Lumiere. Interesting. Joe Frost couldn't move and Hayes comes off. So he's no longer going for that. Very interesting there. Very interesting indeed. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Auroravel again and just go for the Energy Ball on Leonardo. Because why not?
Wow, I really thought he would go for it right there. Thunderbolt comes off, Lumiere goes down. Maybe he just maxes straight up now? We get Auroravel up. Oh, and he goes Brick Break. He was ready for it. Alright, so Leonardo is going to be a pain to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and go Sonic Freeze here. And we're faster, so we're going to Rock Slide. And we're also going to go Freeze Dry into Leonardo. It would be a super effective hit. The only way this messes us up is if he Dynamaxes Leonardo here. Alright, so Leonardo goes, follow me. Very defensive Blastoise this week. Was not expecting that. But Flux goes down along with the Rock Slide. And hopefully Freeze Dry can take down this Leonardo before it becomes a problem. Oh, and Leonardo is showing his bulk by using that berry. So we still got a few more turns of hell to go. And I believe uh, Sonic Breeze is going to be able to show off its skill here. Let's see what it decides to go into here. And it's Kitty Purry. All right, let's see here. Um, it's gonna certainly gonna um, certainly gonna fake out, but we're just gonna go rock slide anyway. Fake out won't hurt us too much, and we're gonna go moon blast into Leonardo. Really worried about the brick break. Oh no, he goes uh, follow me. Didn't go for the fake out. So either way, Leonardo's going to go down here. Uh, Katy Perry goes parting shot into a Alolan Sand Slash here, which is very smart. Those are attacked by one, but we are adamant speed boost of nature. And Moonblast should take down Leonardo here. All right, the hell has stopped. <laughs> All right, so Flashbang comes out here. We're going to go ahead and go for a rock slide here. And we're actually going to switch out to Nessie here. <sighs> I know um, we're not going to be faster than uh, Volcarona. So if he goes for an attacking move here, it's going to be a problem. But I'm um, hoping uh, we can get through that. Joe Frost, I feel, still has viability. So that's why we're switching out to Lapras. And um, we'll be able to D-Max Lapras this turn. Or Gigantamax this turn. Hopefully get the Veil back up. So, Nessie avoided the heat wave, but sadly, Sonic Freeze did not. Four times effective, that's going down, definitely. Alright, and Knock Off goes off against Nessie, which gets rid of our weakness policy. 
but that is fine. Here we go with Punk Rock. So we're going to go ahead and close combat into Chestnut here. Oh, you know what? We're going to obstruct. Because uh, Volcarona is faster. And we're going to max Rockfall into Flashbang here. He switches out. I mean, good play on his part. But we're trying to go for that kill on Flashbang. Might even Dynamax on his part. All I know is this battle is very in evened up right now. And not getting Auroraville on our side was a problem. Oh, and he does decide to Dynamax that Volcarona. I assume. So Volcarona goes big here. And we also go big here. Woo, look at Nessie go. Punk Rock goes for Obstruct here. I mean, a Max Flutterbee is going to go through it regardless. But goes for Max Overgrowth on Nessie here. We take that pretty well. And let's see how well it takes this Max Rockfall here. Oh, and of course it is Charty Berry, which I should have predicted. Lowers rock type moves. And that takes that extremely well. Oh yeah. One. Dire Ball goes into Nessie which does a decent amount of damage as well. But now we're getting some uh, chip damage off on his Pokemon. Of course on ours as well. But nothing too bad that we can't handle. And also the HP boost is helping us a little bit as well. But now our Flame Orb is off. So let's go ahead. We're going to close combat the Chestnut here. And we're going to max Geyser into Flashbang. Again. Max Flutter be very smart on his part. Obstagoon's going to take the hit really badly. And down goes Obstagoon. So I don't think we have an answer for... Uh, we don't have an answer for Ferrothorn now, really. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Max Geyser on Volcarona and see how much this does. Of course, that weakness policy boost would have been very helpful. But we do not have that. I think, honestly, uh, he's got us here at this point in the match. Chestnut goes for Elite Seed here, so it's looking to stay... I think I let my wind con fall too soon, and my answers for Ferrothorn I let fall way too soon as well. So I think, yeah, we pretty much fall here. Two and one to Stewart. So, <laughs> GG Stewart. I'm going to let the rest of this battle play out.